In this video guys, I am going to show you how to fix the FPS drops and the status issue in the brand new season of Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2 and also I am going to show you how you can optimize your CPU, your GPU and your RAM which is causing this issue in this brand new season. So guys make sure to stick with this video till the end so let's go straight into this video. So first of all you need to download this Fortnite Season 2 FPS drop fix pack on your PC link given in the description down below of my this video so you need to open the link from descriptions and that will take you directly here onto my this website once you open up this website here you will find out this first post and if you are watching this video late so guys you need to go straight towards this option which is the chapter 3 packs sometime it will open up the ads so guys you need to simply close out this ads and here guys you will get this kind of fortnite season 2 fps drop fix pack guide so you need to open up this post scroll all the way down click on this download button once you download so it will guide redirect you here onto this website scroll all the way down and guys here you will find out these two boost pack this is guys my first video how to boost the fps in this brand new guys chapter 3 season 2 if you have not watched this video so guys i also suggest you to watch this video and guys you can also download the boost pack for this video from this button but guys for this video which is the how to fix the fps drops you need to download this pack which is the download number 2 fps drop fix pack click on this download button and download this pack on your pc once you download it so guys here you will go to this kind of the zip file so you need to right click here click on the extract here button and you will get this folder you need to open up this folder here is guys bunch of file first one for the mz ram second is the quick cpu and third one for the throttle stop which is optimizing your gpu so first of all we're going to guys install the quick cpu setup because cpu is the most important part so therefore we are going to guys install the software on our pc simply double click here click next click next and simply install the software on your pc i already guys installed the software so therefore it is guys showing me to repairing or the remove option but guys it is really simple you need to click on this next button and install the software on your pc and by the way if you are using the park controller on your pc already so guys you not need to use the software so once you install the software on your pc you need to go into the search icon and search for the quick cpu and press enter from your keyboard here is the interface of the quick cpu so you need to not change a lot of settings into the software just guys you need to go toward this power data option and from here select the bit some highest performance profile click on the make activate once you apply this power plan now here you will find out the score parking so guys make sure to set all this value onto the 100% also change the frequency scaling on 100% and turbo boost also set it onto the 100% here is performance so also set it onto the 100% now click here on the apply button and click ok and close out the software once you properly set up the quick cpu on your pc now let's go for our next software which is optimization for our ram so guys you need to install this software simply double click here click ok click next and simply install this software on your pc also make sure to check mark on the create our desktop icon click next install and simply install this software once guys the software is installed you need to check mark on the launch mz ram booster and here you will go to this kind of interface on of the software on your screen so what you need to do guys you need to go straight towards this option which is the option section and you need to guys don't change any setting from here keep it guys same as as it is and click here onto the recommended value and once you click on the recommended value now hit apply click ok once you do it now you need to go for the system speed up and from here again click on the recommended values and hit apply now click ok and guys once you are done with the software now you need to simply close out it and it will keep running here in your background or in your system tray so once you do now let's go for our last software which is the throttle stop and this is for optimization of our gpu so you need to open up the zip file drag this exe file here on your desktop double click here click ok and guys here is the interface of the software now you need to properly follow everything which i will show you to do you need to guys first select out the power plan for the gaming so guys here is the second option for the game mode now check mark onto the high performance and guys set it onto the high performance once you do now you don't need to guys change any settings from here simply click here on this turn on button and simply minimize the software and guys it will keep running here in your background whenever you turn on your pc so guys once you do all of the settings now you need to simply restart your pc one time because all of the settings which we have done that will take effect once you restart it after restarting your pc you need to go into the windows search and search for the ms config and you will get this kind of the system configuration app click here you will go to this window you need to go into the boot section go for the advanced option 
and check mark onto the maximum memory and also check mark onto the maximum number of processor you have on your PC. I have four. I have four core and the eight thread, so I will go with the eight one, the maximum number which I have into this list. And here also check mark onto the maximum RAM. Click OK, hit apply, click OK again, and close out this window. Once you do it, now you need to go straight toward the section where you have installed your Fortnite, like I have installed in my C drive. So you need to go into C, program file, Epic Game, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binary win 64. Scroll all the way down. Here you will find out this exe file. Right click here, go in the properties, go for the compatibility, check mark onto the disable full screen optimization, go for the change high DPI settings, also check mark here. Click OK, hit apply and click OK and do the same setting for all of these XV files. Once you do it, now you need to simply close out this window. So guys, that's it for this video and I hope so. This video really helped you to fixing the FPS drops issue and the status issue in Fortnite Season 2 on your PC. So guys, please make sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notification, leave a like on this video and share your opinion about this video in the comment section. So till the next video, peace out.